Hey there everyone, welcome back to Engineering with Preetam. In this video, we will introduce the PTC Creo Parametric User Interface, its essential components and how to navigate through the software. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing which we need to do is we need to launch this Creo Parametric. And here you can see I have already opened it. Now let me click here on new and then I'm going to keep everything as it is and I'm going to click on OK so that we can reach to PTC Creo Parametric user interface. Now here we are in PTC Creo Parametric interface. Now let's further dive in. The Creo Parametric user interface is organized into several key components such as ribbon, quick access toolbar, graphic window, model tree and status bar. Understanding these components will help you to work efficiently in Creo Parametric. So let's start with layout and organization of interface. The interface is designed to be intuitive and easy to navigate. The ribbon is located at the top of screen, contain various tools and command organized into tabs. The quick access toolbar above the ribbon provides shortcuts to frequently used commands. And all these shortcuts, even including tools in ribbon interface, are completely customizable. The graphics window here is the main display area where you create and edit 3D model. The model tree typically locate on the left side of the display. Sometimes what we do in starting, we may click on these different tabs and that's how we try to find out the model tree. But the model tree is always there and you need to click on the left most icon to find it. And as I said, the model tree is used to display the feature history and the model structure. The status bar at the bottom of your screen provide feedback on current status of your model and software. Now let's dive deeper into ribbon tab and their function. The ribbon as we discussed before is organized into several tabs. So for example, in part modeling here we can see the ribbon have got this model tab, analysis tab, live simulation and so on. So each of these tabs contain groups. So here we can see there is a constraint group or load group or other group as well. And in these groups, we may see the related tools and commands which I would say is one of the most popular kind of interface available. For example, you may also see this kind of interface with Microsoft Office products like Word, Excel and PowerPoint. Now let's talk about graphic windows and model display. The graphic window is where you're going to spend most of your time in designing and manipulating 3D model. The model display area allow you to visualize your design in various display mode. Let me just quickly create some such as shaded view, wireframe and so on. The coordinate system and 3D plane provide a reference for orientation and direction. Now let's talk about model tree and feature history. So the model tree provide a visual representation of your model feature, history and structure. As you create and modify features, they will appear in model tree. We're going to see in later part of this video how exactly this work. You can click on individual feature to access their properties to edit them. For example, let me quickly create one feature here with the help of extrude. So let me just make it shading with edges. So here we can see this feature now being added in model tree. And if we want to modify or change, we can go to model tree and then can make modification. So in this way, guys, we can individually click features to access their properties to edit them. Now let's talk about status bar and message area. The status bar is located in the bottom of interface. The status bar keeps providing the most important information in a form of message or current state of your software. So you may find these component at various location. For example, here the message bar or here you will see different state or notification. The message area display prompt notification and error message to help guide you through the design process. You can also find filter here that will allow to perform advanced selection. Then in the top you can find the search bar where you can easily find commands available in PTC Creo Parametric. 
in our next video we will be talking about all these tools available inside the ribbon that's all guys from my side in this video i hope you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for such content and i will catch you soon in my next one till then take care and bye bye